Welcome back, Redeemers. Thank you for joining us again. My name is Curtis. I'm Nick. Keith. And today we got another track from Alexa, Back in Vogue, official MV, latest comeback. Um, anything you want to add? You in Wonderland? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I was going to say like, comment, subscribe, <laughs> uh, turn on <laughs> notifications. <laughs> That'd also, awesome. check us out on the Patreon. Uh, we have a lot of uh, things coming on. We have uh, some ATs guides that have just been announced. We have a lot of guys actually coming up. We have uh, Rise of Bang Chan. We have Inner Soup. We have live performances. We have um, dance, dance practices. This is going to make me have the reaction battles. and shit. Just like. We got Nick drooling <laughs> over here. Like, yeah. So sad. Hater. Yeah, I suppose <laughs> without any further ado. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Alexa. Alexa, we got another one. It sounds like a slowed down version of uh, like socket to me mm -hmm. uh, with the old Godzilla mm -hmm. joint. Mm -hmm. uh, let me see if I can pull it up so you can know what I'm talking about. Um, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know. What I mean, I know. Uh, but I mean, was that socket okay. to me? Y'all should know that, that mm, sounds like it has uh, kind of used that. Uh, well, I'm not sure if they used the synth when they did it. Uh, I feel like it was a, a combination of things. Because when, when they sampled it from Godzilla, I know it's a combination of different things. Yeah, well, they sampled two drums for that one. Yeah. Uh, either here nor there. Uh, it kind of sounded like that. Uh, I like this a lot. Um, I'm not gonna act like this broke the will or you know this did anything. This is a great pop song, um, and I think that 
what it seems like she does a great job of, she has kind of like a couple different sounds that are working together for her. I'm getting a little bit of Dia Lupa. Uh, I'm getting a little bit of Dia Lupa, a little bit of Ariana Grande. And uh, I'm trying to think who the third one. It might be BB Rexa, um, if y'all familiar with her. Um, but those are all like amazing pop artists. Everyone I just named is kind of like either like a platinum or a Grammy winning like, you know, artist. Um, and I feel like she's kind of has that three way style with rap involved, too. Mm-hmm. Um I wonder if she wrote this because we know uh, like she she wrote Wonderland. She seems like she has a very good grasp on pop music. Um, and I think we, we talk about it here often. It's hard to make a pop song. Um, I know sometimes, you know, people shit on certain pop songs and everything, but it's hard to be catchy. Um, and I feel like she's, at least in my opinion, done it two times in a row from the stuff that I've heard. Um, I like the choreo that she always like brings. She has an amazing voice. Um, I think her voice also somehow with the cadences and the and the stuff she hits vocally, she still also has a nice rap voice. Um, obviously, you know, she's an attractive young lady as well. Um, and it, she seems unique in the way uh, like stuff is kind of cutesy. But I don't know why she walks this good line of cutesy girl. Well, well, more so if I close my eyes, I wouldn't think this was like a K artist. Um, like uh, this sounds like you know outside. Uh, obviously, Wonderland was I think almost all English outside of like a couple of things. Um, we, we're here it definitely was uh, like some Korean in here, but these this these are kind of those songs where if you close your eyes and just you know they had someone listen to the music, they may be confused on who they're listening to. Mm-hmm. Um, which which is a, a, a good joint for her, I'm assuming. Um, especially if that was the the case intended. Um. Yeah. With that being said, though, I like this a lot. I'm, I'm let y'all talk because I don't want just want fanboy over this. But there's an incidental for me. Um. Jury's out in the download for me. Um. But <clears throat> I like the song. But I do have a, a an issue with it. Um. I would have liked to hear her sing the verses in a lower register. Um. Her voice is nice, but. I think during the verses in the lower register, it would have sounded a little better. Not to mention, when the bridge came in and she actually went high, it wouldn't have sounded like every other part of the song because it would have been in a different, you know what I mean, a different octave. Um, other than that, I thought the song was good. Like Nick said, it didn't like you know break the wheel or reinvent the wheel. Uh, but I definitely, and then they show the wheel. Um, I definitely thought it was a good video. It was very creative. The choreography, the voguing, um, you know, the catwalking or the duck walking and everything else. It was, uh, I was surprised we can get a few shablams in here. But um, I thought it was uh, definitely uh, interesting, to say the least. Uh, as an artist, I think she's interesting. I think she has crossover appeal or can have crossover appeal. But for some reason, the artists you think will have crossover appeal don't really hit like that. Because how many times have we talked about Jackson Wang, how big he should be over here, as opposed to not, and, you know, not to compare, uh, to compare but um, that's another artist. Like, if you close your eyes, you would think you wouldn't be able to tell what's going on. You know what I mean? Um, and I think she falls in that same category. But I, I don't know. I mean, um, I definitely like her rap cadence. I like her rap voice because it was in a lower register, and it, it kind of gave you more grit and, and grr. And now they put tigers up on it. Um, but um, I would definitely like to hear the song, like the, the verses, the normal verses sung in the lower register, just to kind of set the song apart when she does take that octave. And maybe then she could take it up and kind of have a key change there. But um, it, I would have liked that part to stand out a little more, and it didn't because it just sounded like the rest of the song. Yeah, the the reason why I disagree with the the low cadence just because I think it might change the song up a little bit. I know that's what I want. Uh, yeah, and that's what it seems like. You just want the song to kind of change the tempo, but I like the no, tempo. No, no, not, not, the tempo is fine, but like, like instead of singing up here, you can be like down here and kind of hit that same, and just kind of give it more. It's funny because like she's doing some Ariana Grande, and I feel like you want her tempo to be more Christina Aguilera. Mm. Um, if if that is, is that I don't want to put words in your mouth. Uh, like as far as like, 
I don't know why when you said change like the the tone, I don't know why I thought of like like you, you want know, a little more growl you, with a little more growl. Yeah, that's why yeah. I said that. So if that's what you meant, so a key change. Um, yeah, yeah, almost almost like a key change. Because, that's why I think it would have changed the picture. Because of the, whole the key song. change during the bridge doesn't doesn't have an effect because that's the key she's been singing at the entire time. It's mm-hmm. just slowed down, which is cool, but it's not. It doesn't bridge the song to a different section. It just kind of just gets you from one end to the other. Um, okay, your comment was more so on a key change as opposed to not just the track. Right. So, okay. like, the music, the production, everything is cool, but, like, just her kind of singing it lower. You know, the vocal arrangement, I guess, would have been, been better, in my opinion. I thought the song would have been a little better, in my opinion. You know, because we got a preference. Because, <laughs> in my opinion. Nah, too, uh, too key for a little <laughs> bit of context. Um, she's also, uh, she's half Russian and half, uh, like, South Korean. That makes sense. Uh, her father's Russian and the mo- her mom's South Korean. And she's American. She was born, like, in Oklahoma and everything here. And then went over to um, South Korea, I think, for a little bit. But the show she was on was over here. Um, I forget which show it was, whether it was America's Got Talent or one of those shows here. And was pretty high. And I know she was on Produce 101, which is another big, uh, like, contestant joint, like, over there. Um, she has a joint that's coming out. Because look who's on her first song with her on the beginning of the album. Moonbill. Mama. Nice. Uh, <laughs> then you get back in vogue. Uh, literally kind of, like, after that for the EP. But what um, moon by, what Moonbill are you going to get? You getting cheese in the trap? <laughs> Um, I'm assuming, <laughs> I'm assuming if she's on there with her, niggas here, one bad song. Bruh, <laughs> yeah. I can't get past that cheese in the trap. I was, oh my gosh. I actually was, liked it. it was a, no, it, you didn't. Because it, no, it was, it was, it was just opposed to what I thought I was going to get. Um, nah, if she's on here with her, I'm assuming she's probably more so straight rapping okay. and, and tr- See, I would like that because, no, I, honestly, I wouldn't be mad if it was a back and forth rap joke, kind of mm-hmm. like, um, Welcome to Hell with mm-hmm. uh, Eminem and Royce. Mm-hmm. Like That'd be it, crazy to get so, a version of that. Damn. Yeah, that would that would be kind of nasty. But here's the contrast part: Do we go from that directly into this? Like yeah. there has to be some kind of you know what I mean. So I don't think that song might be that, but it would be nice. I'm you know it would be nice to get that. And yeah, she, and she is attractive. I'm just interested on your on your take, uh, just because uh, like I said, I hate putting words in people's mouth. Mm-hmm. Um, I've seen way more good than bad in the first no, two. No, absolutely, songs. absolutely, and. I'm just surprised neither one of them like clicked right away. <laughs> neither one of them like. It's like showing your friend it. something he don't like it. And you like. But like this is cool. But where, where, where is it? At? Like how she her rap voice. But when he, this is the bridge, and it should stand out, but it doesn't because it, it's, it like no, it, it only because the pace will slow down. But now she's getting back into the verse, and it's the same. It's yeah. the same register. Trust me, I'm not trying to be one of them people well, the too. The isn't over yet. <laughs> back, 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 but back, back, but see, that's her rap back, voice. Whoa. That her rap voice is completely different from her singer voice. Well, they yeah. also took out some of the production too to kind of let it breathe a little too. So yeah, because what, like, this, this is still too high for me. And what I don't want to do is I don't. Obviously, we already liked her, so you know I don't want to come into a already bias in the situation no, 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 either. No. Shit like that. I'm, so, I mean, like, I'm open minded. Yeah, like, so I'm, I'm, I'm not, very, you know, no, I, I very much want to hear like what the redeemers and other people are going to say too. Just because mm-hmm. if we if we like this shit fire and everybody in the joint like it's mid. <laughs> no, but I mean, and here's the thing: like we've done this before. We can like it, and they say it's mad, and they don't change our oh, opinion. Yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah. we still like it. We still bang this shit regardless. Yeah. I'm just asking, just to read the room, not as opposed. No one's gonna sway. I feel, but yeah, like yeah. I would just so. I, don't, I can't even say that because I think I think Mary does that better than anybody else. Having this much range, working the fuck out of it. Let's be honest. But um, I think like I know she has way more range than that. But like the song just feels like it's here when it could be stretched out to here. And she's not using like the full vocal, and I think just, especially being a solo artist, you have to be your backup singers. You have to be, you know, the other person you pass the baton to, and that means kind of sometimes just using a different octave. Yeah, but that's why I said, uh, and sorry, I'm gonna let you get off. That's why I compare her to Ariana, uh, mm-hmm. like BB, and all, and all of them, just because I feel like if someone like Ariana Grande is on this track, you kind of, I guess it goes up to the octave you want it to. Mm-hmm. And sometimes they may be quote unquote like unnecessary runs because sometimes Ariana Grande does that 
where like the song will be there and it's just ah! and it's just like okay it's, it's Christina effect. yeah it's like, like a Christina Aguilera does it too and it's happy birthday bitch what are you doing <laughs> <laughs> and it's like they uh both and it's crazy because you could argue two of them in my opinion are some of the best vocalists of all yes. time for women Absolutely. um and sometimes I feel like they kind of stretch the vocal muscles just to just to just to do it um, they don't have an opportunity to do any other time. Might as yeah, well. and I'm not sure if that's sometimes not a disservice, but sometimes just because you have be a big brand gun. recognition, though, and, and that's true mm. too. Mariah does it, uh, like, but sometimes you don't need it. Like, like sometimes, that like, sometimes, whistle yeah, for no reason. Like, yeah, what are we doing? Yeah, sometimes we we kind of know the gun is there already. You don't gotta uh, like unload the clip. But th- all that to say, bro, that's why I compared the three artists because I feel like no, it true. never it never goes to that tempo you wanted to because she kept. I felt like more so she kept it in the pocket herself. Yeah. Um, versus uh, it going anywhere else. And I would like to hear the rest of the album, too, just because if it's other songs on the album where she's belting a lot, then it was no need to do it here. Because uh, at that point, then it's just like every single song, it sounds like you whining. Well, no, not necessarily, not necessarily <laughs> not whining, belting. Like, I, don't, I don't want her to go up. I don't like. I would rather like instead well, of going, let me, instead I'm of sorry, going let me chili. I would rather you want to go. You want to go T buys. I'm sorry. Right, I would rather be more T buys than chili, just to kind of give a little bit of distinction between, you know, oh, okay, well, this is the chorus because you know, and I heard that, and then we come down again for the next verse, and then we go up again for the bridge, and then we come, you know, I mean, then the rap voice, whatever, whatever. Yeah, it's it all is, in all. It, I think it's a great song. And it's crazy, too, because I would have just done it a little different. Because I'm telling her, chill, but people normally be like, y'all be telling everybody to go off. But Christina would do that all the time, where it's just yeah. like, I, I guess it's, I guess what I'm going to call it like a growl. Yeah. But you know what? Every check when it's just like, hey, hey, hey. And it's kind of like her build. <laughs> to like, hi. Oh, no, no. not the Dragon Ball. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Mama, that perfect jump. Yeah, the way she come in, it's like, hey. And then she had, hey, You could argue she changed the entire tempo of the song. Uh, we, like, no, like, we had like this argue, conversation. Like That's arguably. her I still, song. I still think Pink and them held their own, no, they but didn't. it's just no, they, they did. It's, it's still a, those are no. those are still Bruh, compared to Christina. It's hard. There's not it, too many people that can like, be on that track. Krillin, y'all should can get him. I think and here come Goku. I think, it's, I, think, I think it's closer to Vegeta Trunks and Android uh, eighteen. That's and, not true because Vegeta's stronger. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so yeah, Kurt, I, I want you to jump in here. I'm so yeah, no, nah, I thought this. I thought this was really good. It didn't necessarily like 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 move the needle in like a, a crazy way for me or anything like that. Um, but I did think it was a, a great build off of what we had seen in Wonderland, as far as like my immersion in kind of more of her work and everything like that. I definitely love all the aspects that you were saying, as far as like um, how it feels like she, you know, you talk about like her ability to rap and everything, how clean her vocals are. Um, what we had seen in the choreo, especially for uh, Wonderland as well. Um, so she definitely like has all the all the tools and everything. And and honestly, just as a side note, but the fact that it, when it, like it is really hard, and I, I know Keith alluded to this earlier, but it's really hard to be kind of a solo artist where it's like you have to be your own backup, um, you know, for your vocals and everything like that. You have to infuse enough differentiation in kind of your rap uh, verses or anything, or even just your verse structure, let's say. Mm-hmm. Um, and then on top of that, you have to, you know, do choreo, perform, and all these other kind of things. So it's like, like, all the shine is on you, yes, but all the burden and weight of those things are also on you. And it's, um, like, just how well-rounded she is. I, I don't want to, you know, just as a brief analogy, if she was hypothetically in a group, and then this was a song of her out of the group, we would be kind of highlighting, I feel like, how versatile she is, if that makes sense. I, I get what you mean. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? So basically just to say that, like, you know, um, that's kind of... Um, at least what I'm seeing of, of um, you know, her talent and everything. Like that. And honestly, the, the songs, both of the songs did hit for me. I just like Wonderland like a lot better, I would say. Mm-hmm. Um, but anyway, keeping uh, within the pocket of this song um, in particular is, I do like how it's, it kind of is essentially like, you know, like she exudes this, this confidence where she's like, you know, um, like I want to be like the, um, I mean, the back in Vogue, obviously, like the fashion and everything like that, like, um, but then it's kind of like, I'm trying to think of how to word this. Like she basically says at a latter portion in the track, I'll almost be kind of like like the underdog almost to where that when I come through that underdog, I'm only going to shine brighter, keeping with the whole uh, fashion because uh, she had said fashion is her passion and everything like that um, in the earlier portion. So basically like you're going to look at me like the underdog to where only when you see me excel, it's, it's going to make me shine brighter kind of. So mm-hmm. I, I thought that that was essentially kind of, um, one of the strong points of the song, I would say, and just kind of how that tied into everything. The visual aesthetic of everything is really interesting, too. The, um, definitely, like, because I know when we had seen Wonderland, I don't want to say it was, like, um, 
Because, I mean, the whole Alice in Wonderland aspect of it, so it tied into a little bit more of the fantasy mm-hmm. kind of elements. So I was curious as far as seeing some of the more fantastical elements here, as far as if that's just, like, um, one of the more unique um, individual stamps that she kind of has within her music, or if it was just something that fit the concept or the EP or whatever the case may be. Uh, but nonetheless, I found it really interesting as well. Um, but no, I, l- I like this a lot. I do think she has a really solid trajectory ahead of her. Um, and I'm just really glad that she's able to kind of walk as clean of a... Um, because you said it's it's really hard to actually make, like, you know, catchy, like, like pop songs catchy and pop song. And then doing it, you know, as a soloist and everything where everything is kind of on you. I just think it only shows, you know, how versatile and how many um, notches in the belt, uh, so to speak, that she, that she is able to present us with. Um, but, yeah, no, I thought this was I thought this was solid. I'm definitely eager to kind of hear more from her, and especially uh, the Moon by Old track. Mm-hmm. Um, I would say that's one that I'm definitely strongly looking forward to as far as um, features. Yeah, and another thing, too, well, two things, too. I feel like Wonderland, uh, I think to me and you, was almost close to a perfect song because it was. when you listen to everything and she's talking about Wonderland, it's so many complexities and so many, like, kind of double entendres with Wonderland and kind of talked about things a little bit differently than sometimes we heard it. Because once you hear Wonderland, you kind of already know what themes you're about to get. It's just like, oh, about to go down the rabbit hole. It's just, you know, Royal Literally. Flush. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Off with your head. <laughs> I'm late, I'm late. <laughs> um, but I, I, I thought party that in you it's almost like starting at the ceiling. You know how I always use that, uh, that analogy when you hear something so decent and it's starting at the ceiling. It's kind of hard to kind of keep that energy up there. Um, so I, I feel like she already kind of was going to have a hard outing. So I took that as I took this as plainly as possible without comparisons. Um also, all the stuff that I'm reading, I like a lot of stuff that I'm reading about her. Mm-hmm. Um, literally started dancing at two years old. Um, ballet trained, uh, was in a <laughs> church choir um, in middle school and stuff. So she kind of has those, you know, we say like those soul backgrounds and everything. Mm-hmm. Soul backgrounds. Um, <laughs> um, also, she discovered K-pop by listening to Super Junior and Shiny was her first group that she stand. She's a big NCT fan, and Tae Young is her bias. That makes sense. Um, that in common. Every, uh, I guess, choreographer that she works with says so she picks up choreo in one take. Wow. Um, in college, she studies so she can speak Japan. Japanese. Um, <laughs> yeah. I know what you remember. Yeah. I yeah. got you. Yeah, it's a long night. I got you. Um, yo, y'all back me up. Uh, relaxing. Okay, now just eat the food numbers. Uh, other than that, this is all just regular stuff as far as her. She loves Billie Eilish. All this stuff. This is her biggest insp- her biggest musical inspiration is Taman. No, it's funny. I was going to mention Taman uh, when you had mentioned the uh, um, like how our first introduction to him was Idea, mm-hmm. um, at least on the panel. I would say um, to where everything or no, I wasn't. I wasn't here for the first advice track. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, I wasn't here for that. Uh, or, so, or criminal. No, no I, I think it was after uh, Idea that those tracks. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because, yeah. I, yeah, I was pushing with Criminal. We just nah, did. but it's just um, it's just funny that you mentioned that as far as, like, you know, kind of, um, because that's essentially what Wonderland felt like to me. Now, clearly, we're at a, a different point in our journey to where, like, you know, we're able to separate, you mm-hmm. know, those things and kind of just judge it for what it is. But nonetheless, I was getting kind of thoughts back to that uh, when you had mentioned that. It's kind of funny. It feels like the fencing thing again, though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you said, like, at this point, it's just like everyone is, like, that well-rounded. It says she's friends with Jay from Day 6. Oh, wow. And then it says she was on the Mama Moo video, Gogo B. Hmm. Maybe that's how she would have met Moon Buell or something like that. And that's a lot of different that makes sense too. Within, um, I mean, she's a, maybe she's a free roamer. She can move in between without having to deal she, with the paperwork. And she the, loves Naruto. She's sounding better and better every second. I wonder if that's and where. Dream. I wonder if that's where she got the um, <laughs> the Moon by Old connection. Yeah, right? no, nah, that's what I just said. I just, she yeah. probably linked up with her, uh, like on there. I it's about her debut about. cost three hundred thousand dollars. Like to, to be fair, like, and we we've heard a lot of female groups. Unless you're like supremely vocal, and even then, as a group, it is hard to. So, how do I say this? How do I be careful about saying this? Um, a lot of the, the women's songs, more so than the guys, are written to where most of the women have the same vocal range. So it's really hard at some points, some points, if you're not familiar with the voices to the person, to tell where one person stops, another person begins. Mm-hmm. 
that's just female um, songs in K-pop so far that I've heard in general, but not all. Um, so to hear like and like, so we heard a solo from somebody from Twice. Mm -hmm. There was no vocal complexity in that song. Like it just stayed here. Mm -hmm. But I'm thinking maybe that's just the way that songs are written for them. Mm -hmm. um, to where it's not like all over the place. Like, and, and one of the things we all, I always say is like, the first time I ever heard Pony by Genuine, I swore it was a group. Mm -hmm. um, the way it was produced, the way they asked him to inflect. Um, and it, it might just be the producer. Like, you know what I mean? That, that's mm -hmm. demanding, not so much the artist who is incapable. Because um, she doesn't seem like she's incapable of anything. But um, I don't know. I just wonder what goes on in those in those booths that kind of produce that sound. Yeah. What, what I will say about that is, um, I think I'm word this right. Um, <laughs> that sometimes, um, most of the times, you hope everything is either like choices that were done from a production standpoint mm -hmm. or just uh like just things that maybe like either the artist wanted or the CEO the CEO of the company may have wanted. Um with her, I feel like you kinda can hear two or three bars and you already kinda know what vocals you're getting. Um I I love her voice. Um I feel like um I think you made a comment on earlier, uh, I'm not gonna repeat what you said. Um, but that some people might only have this much of a range and, and oh, can stand yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, her range, from what I've heard, even just off these two joints, is more like this. But that's and, why I don't understand um, why there wasn't more range in the in the song. I don't think the range. I I hear what you're saying, but I don't think it just was monotone throughout the whole thing. And I, I'm not I, sure. I, I, I don't. I, but I think it was it was all higher register. But I think the song would have done well to benefit from maybe some lower register to kind of break the song up and give it more diversity. I think instead of changing up the cadence that way, I think she did what Kurt said, where it was just like, I don't need to change my inflections in my voice if I'm rapping, um, just because that should be kind of quote unquote like a key change because her voice did change the rap voice definitely no, the, is different the rap, than, rap voice definitely had a growl to it yeah but I just think you wanted the, the growl to be in, incorporated with the singing yeah and some of the verse only only because when the bridge came you were expecting like the mm, but it was just like ah oh, it's the same register yeah no I get it I get it it's sometimes you want the you want the key change the key change um but yeah I'm good I'm re I'm uh wasn't gonna go away from this, but I wanted us to jump in a bomb her debut joint. Oh, um, nice. Anything else you want to ever? Are you good? No, nah, I, I don't think there's really anything I'm. Uh, that He's dying to get off my chest. He's like, <laughs> no, that <laughs> comes to mind at least. But yeah. Yeah, no long talk for me. Then, uh, like, like this was fire. I downloaded it. Um, if y'all feel different, or if y'all had a, uh, another opinion on it, jump in the comments and tell us how y'all felt about it. Because uh, I'm not ultraly biased on anyone. I do like to hear other people's um, like interpretations of what the music is, just to kind of read the room. Mm -hmm. um, so jump in the comments, tell us how y'all felt about this. And how they feel about the album. If y'all feel differently mm -hmm. about it, keep that to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> also, make sure you guys uh, subscribe to the channel. If y'all not subscribed, I don't know what y'all doing. Jump on the Patreon. We literally about to jump in on to Bomb to kind of hear a debut now, because I... I want to see what was the if anything kind of quote unquote changed as well. Mm -hmm. um, even though I don't think Bomb was too far off. I think she might have debuted in twenty twenty, so she oh, had so it's still relatively. Years. Yeah, yeah, everything we, might we, still be relatively now. We gonna call that a year because COVID is a throwaway. <laughs> yeah, shit, COVID was some people was crazy. Yeah, that's true. you know what I mean. So we'll, we'll, well, I mean, we'll, you, you we'll, we'll you, see. It was. Actually, I don't know because I want to say you figure you couldn't really get in the studio, but most of the uncuts is from NCT during COVID time. He made that shit work. Man, ain't it? Yeah. No long time though. We love y'all. We're gonna holler at y'all. Peace. Take care.